everybody pretty girl politics pretty girl politics and today we're talking about ageism 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 ageism, <laughs> ageism. <laughs> honey am i pronouncing that right it, she it, had to school me on this because i'm like what yeah when you uh, think of ageism you could think of other relatable terms that have isms behind them you could think of racism where you discriminate against somebody's race. Yeah. Uh, you could think of colorism, where somebody may discriminate against somebody based off of how light or dark they are. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. You can go based off of all kinds of what sexism, sexism. where you know somebody's Shall discriminating based off of, of stuff. Yeah, where somebody's discriminating based off of gender. So ageism is much of the same. It's discriminating against somebody due to their age or based off of stereotypes of a certain age group okay so you know what um millennials are often discriminated by who the prior generation generation x baby boomers that say we're entitled things like that because we fit into a certain age group as millennials but there's other stereotypes of like what women in their 30s in their 40s being not so um well i'll, I'll give a, a well what example. type of ageism are we speaking on today that's what i want to well, know i mean there's several types once upon a time well, where, you, if, get, where you, you coming from once upon a time if you hit your 30s and your 40s women used to want to lie and say oh no i tell people i'm 28 or i'm 25. you know they didn't want to tell their age because it was considered to be old you know, because there were stereotypes of minivan moms and soccer moms okay. and, and mom wearing okay. that when you hit a certain age, you were old, outdated, no longer relevant, no longer desirable to men because maybe they thought you were wearing the the the, the mom jeans high up to your waist, Ooh. unattractive. You know what I'm saying? Now, more recently, one of my other good friends, um, one of my other best friends, you're one of my best friends, of course, but one of my other best friends, she told me that one of her guy friends that she's really cool with and close with, they're also coworkers, told her that women in their 30s are not considered desirable to men Honey, in, the, in the same age what? group of oh, our no. 30s. Oh no! And who she said that her guy friend, who's in the same age group, and he Honey, said, "Honey, I don't you know, want to drop my age now. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm still looking ripe and tight. Okay, <laughs> I may be ripe. I mean, we need, ooh, I need to get a little bit more tight. But anyway, <laughs> uh, okay. But uh, I will say, I am an '80s baby. I'm not gonna drop the number. '80s baby, it's low or high, '90s but I'm an kid 80s says it baby. all. Okay, I'm okay. not a shit to say my age. Honey, please don't drop it, honey, because if I'm they know sure. that we're around the same age, I just, uh, honey, whatever. <laughs> but anyways, um... No shame? Yes, but anyways, um, what? Women in their yeah. 30s are not desirable. Yeah. She, she, literally, she literally told me that women our age should give up on the idea of marriage and kids because her guy friend told her that men in our age category and maybe even younger or slightly older are not just or men in general are not interested in women our age that we are beyond the range that would be considered marry marriage material um wifey material um someone they can settle down and have children with they're looking at younger women and i said the lies they tell well, the devil is a liar honey because that ain't true well the devil is a liar but my whole thing is this has been going on for a decade for centuries come on now let's let's take it all the way back to the old-fashioned days i think men were looking men have always been attracted to young women let's just make that a point you know yeah. what i'm saying that's just obviously is relevant men have always been attracted to young women and a lot this of times me nuts. and a lot of times <laughs> When, um, a lot of times when women turn a certain age, you know what I'm saying? If we, us as women, I think we should make it responsible enough to keep up with our body, keep up with our health, yeah. keep up, you know, we want our men to think we're attractive, to think we're, um, physically fit, to think that, you know, we're still sexy and hot, honey, salsa, mamacita, okay? So we want all of that. Um, so I think that women in general need to just go ahead and just keep up with their self. But my whole thing is when Autumn said in regards to men talking about 30s, 
that's where I'm lost. 30s, you are still young. You even in the 40s, because I'm not, I just feel like even in the 40s. Even in the 40s. Let's be but even here. in the 40s, but my whole thing is we are still young. Women in their 30s, uh, middle 30s, late 30s, early 40s are still young. So if a man does not find a woman desirable in their 30s and 40s, um, something is wrong. He's being Period shallow. Like, that, yeah, to me, a guy shallow. is being shallow when he discriminates by age like that. A woman in her 30s and up, even a woman maybe in her late 20s, these are women that they're mature, they're wiser. You're not going to manipulate, control a woman at age. A, wo a woman who knows what she wants. And yes, women take care of themselves these days. This is a new time That's and new day. I, I mean, we do needs, juices from yes, vegetable the juices. The woman needs to take care of herself, I think. I'm with any other man. You don't want no lazy, out of shape, I mean, unflattering, big, nasty, or just like, you know, just unattractive. I mean, a woman that just basically doesn't care about their appearance. They're walking out and they just don't care how they look. I agree with men in that way. Who would want somebody like that? That's the same thing as a woman. I don't Why feel would like, you want a man you know what, though? that's not taking I don't care of feel herself like, and they're coming out looking any kind of yeah, way? Yeah, but I don't feel like that's a lot of women in their 30s and 40s these days. Are you kidding me? No, it's not. If you not. really look around... The hell, that's one of the reasons why I feel like guys don't want to settle down because women are looking good these days. They're taking better care of themselves. themselves exactly. You know what I'm saying? And that's good. Even if they that's gotta wonderful. put, even if they gotta put a waist trainer on, because half. Of, let me tell you something. A lot of you men don't know what you're looking at. You yeah. guys, I've seen some 20 year olds, some 20 something year olds that don't even compare in the looks category. Or even health category to women that are older than them. Yeah, I've true. seen some busted looking 20 some year olds, y'all. Okay. Yeah. I really have. They're out there, but you guys don't even know what you're looking at anymore. I hate it when guys say what they like and they don't like because they really don't know what they like. I, you know, no, these, because I've also seen some hot 50 and 60 year olds yeah. that I was like, what? You're 50? Yeah. You're 60? I mean, couldn't even tell the fit, difference. And they, I mean, they, they took keep care of themselves, themselves up period you know so. and if you got good jeans or like i said you're using good beauty products and i'm not talking about all that dark on makeup ladies stop wearing all that makeup it actually ages you and all that acne you think you're running from half of it is caused by all that makeup and i know this from experience the moment i stopped wearing makeup is the moment my face started clearing up also the moment like she said take care of your health okay detox well, don't tell eat you healthier. what you know alicia keys no honey just get rid of the no, makeup period no you can't because i'm not gonna lie no you Wait, can't i'm not gonna lie. i agree with her but i'm not gonna lie all you makeup all you makeup artists out there or you beginning makeup artists and whoever you are that's doing all these videos and stuff showing off all that talent keep it up i think it's beautiful it's very artistic this but, video has nothing to do with makeup no, artists i'm just saying but no, I'm just saying the video. If you want to wear makeup no. because you want to be creative, that people are or doing you like creativity. to, yes. no. If you want to wear Let makeup because it's a part of your image, yes, that's, exactly. there's nothing wrong with that. But what I'm saying so is, flip -flop be that. aware of the more you wear that stuff, the more it's going to age your face. Just and tell them that they shouldn't be wearing that all day, every day. All natural beauty products as much as possible. Or if you're gonna wear stuff that's not all natural. Uh, lower how often you're wearing it because i promise you that stuff is going to mess up your faces read the ingredients do the research and I, I feel like it would be neglectful to not tell women this because it's a part of beauty you think you need this stuff you don't wear it because it's fun wear it because it's a part of your self-expression wear it because maybe it's a special occasion or hey sometimes you gonna get a blemish i got one right here i didn't put nothing on i normally do but i said fuck it we gonna talk about this anyway okay let this me is not a show. proactive commercial so no, let's move no, on to no, I, i'm making a point <laughs> i'm making a point that it is okay the 30s or 40s. Now, i'm making a point though it is okay if you have a blemish here and there, you ain't gotta run and say, oh God, I gotta cover this up immediately. Be realistic with your beauty standards. A dude don't give a damn if he see a little blemish here and there on your face. Okay, but that's like care. basically saying like a man doesn't care because typically- They don't. The, the new thing in the new trend- They don't care the if they new... see one blemish or two on your face. Okay, Y'all do. Okay, the new thing in the new trend is basically women are doing the eyebrows, women are doing the eyelashes. And so they don't my, like it. Okay, let me make my point. <laughs> okay. The men don't like it, okay, y'all. I'm just let saying. Let me make my point. So, my whole thing, that's the new trend. You guys wearing the eyelashes, you wearing the eyebrows. All I the don't wigs, have the lace fronts. Go ahead. I'm just saying guys don't know what they're like. They don't know what they really like because these 
even a woman with the shortest hairstyle has lace fronts on these days. I didn't even realize that until I saw some of the videos on Instagram. Y'all don't know what you like, you fellas out there. So before you run your mouth talking about what you like and what you find attractive in a woman in terms of age, a lot of women out here got you fooled. You don't know what a real age is, but you can even pull off not knowing what your age is because all of this stuff out here, makeup, the wigs, the weave, the Botox, the wrestling, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saying, I don't, women don't listen to these men talking about, oh, I, because this discouraged my friend. This discouraged her. Her self esteem was not where it should be, especially for our age range, because she believed what this guy friend that she trusts told her. And I said, no, you don't listen to what a guy says. Guys don't know what they want. I mean, I didn't mean to cut her off or anything. I don't like have that. anything else to say. So, <laughs> thank you. Um, so, my opinion, I stated my opinion, and I'm done. Thank you. Well, I'm just going to say this. Ladies, you are timeless. A man really should be looking at you for what's in here, what's in your heart, what's up here, before he's looking at all of this. So if you ever hear a guy say some nonsense like that, say some, 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 I mean nonsense about he ain't looking for a woman in her thirties, her forties, whatever it is, because supposedly women in this age group are not attractive, you ignore that and understand that guy is an idiot, literally. Now some guys, it is their preference to like younger women. And a lot of it for all the wrong reasons, because they like somebody who will, um, I don't know, worship them, say, yeah, you know, do you know, do all the stuff that you're not going to do because you respect yourselves. Don't fall into that trap. Love yourselves and understand there is somebody out there for you. Just take care of your health and love yourself. There's somebody for everybody. You're still validated. You're still beautiful. You're still wonderful. It was very disheartening to hear my friend actually say and believe what her friend told her. There's lots of young guys in their 20s that are looking at women in their 30s and 40s because they like the maturity. They like that a lot of women in their 30s and 40s got something to offer. And they like seeing a woman in, in, in that age range take care of herself. It turns them on. You know what I'm saying? There's women older than, I mean, men older than us that's looking at us like, you know, because we're younger than them. But I'm just saying, please ignore the ageism. It's gonna always exist, but don't let that be your go-to because a guy friend says this or says that. You go based off of God's standards. God has somebody for everybody and he didn't put you here to be projected as or to be um, objectified and told that you're no longer valid or you're no longer um, desirable because you hit a certain age or you gain a certain amount of weight or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I'm gonna say about it. Ignore that ageism. It's time in 2020 for people to drop that nonsense. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Anything else? Bye. Peace.